Although the general formula for a Taylor series about a point looks pretty imposing, we're going to see that if we focus on a couple of simple examples, you're going to get the hang of it right away. Especially if we start off in the simple case of a function with two inputs and one output. Let's say the function is f and the inputs are x and y. What's the general Taylor series of that about the origin, let's say? This is not going to be so bad. In fact, you might want to memorize this one. Let's start off with the zeroth order term. This is simply evaluation at the origin. f of 0, 0, a constant. Okay, first order terms. I have the partial of f with respect to x at the origin times x plus the partial of f with respect to y times y. That's it. That's what you would get from the derivative, no problem. Okay, now with the second order terms, now it starts getting interesting because when we take that second partial of f with respect to x, multiply by x squared, we have to divide by 2, rather by 2 factorial. But when we do the mixed second partial, second partial of f with respect to x and y, we multiply by x times y, we divide by 1 factorial times 1 factorial. Likewise, when we go to the second partial of f with respect to y, we again have that one half out in front because it's one over two factorial. The third order terms follow a similar pattern with the, the, the pure third order partial, third partial of f with respect to x. We've got a one sixth out in front, one over three factorial. Whereas for the mixed third partials, we have the third partial of f, second partial of x, second partial of y, or first partial in x, second partial of y. We've got one halves in front of those. And then again, for the third partial of f with respect to y, we've got one sixth out in front. And if instead of doing this about the origin, you wanted to do this about some other point, well, you evaluate the derivatives there and then replace x with x minus a and y with y minus b. That's it. That's a general Taylor series if you've got a function with two inputs.